so what from what you've just seen thank you very much my wonderful viewers from what you've just seen i'm sure you really love it today we are going to be talking majorly on this drum pad you are seeing here so when you watch the way people play it on the normal turntable it looks very interesting so i want to apply i want you to use the same method to transfer it to your virtual dj so that you have a very good sound output very easy transitioning from one sound to another just the way they do so you need to have a mental picture of how it is on the normal turntable divide the keyboard into two major parts you see look at my hand the first this first two four and this second and this four here can you see this grouping from here to here i use this point as a marker so i have four so these sounds from here to this number nine are being repeated just hear it you can see they, they are the same this one again too f2 and f11 f3 and f10 f3 and f10 f4 and f9 so they are the same then i have some little adjustment here with a different sound possibly this one then this one and this one so for you to have this you after downloading your sample of drum into your system i'm going to give you all the individual sound of this from the table that is from the samples i have in my system the link is in one of my video where i place how to download or where to get your virtual dj drum pad sample so let's go straight to the point you first need to create a folder sorry you first need to create to go to your system on the on your virtual dj environment from where you can see my mouse you come to this particular point you come in so you come to this point you select so at this point when where you're having your samples here you select when you click you click new by the time this new environment comes on board so by the time this new environment comes on board by the time this new environment comes on board it's going to be blank look at it it's going to be blank like this then these are the individual sounds i've arranged you can clearly see them so this is the summary of the sound so the line i showed you with my keys with my hands look at it this first key let alphabet let me show you can you see it Sorry. so look at it f1 f2 f3 f4 which is f1 look at it f1 f2 f3 f4 look at it the highlighted point you can see them these are the individual sounds that are attached to it then when you go down again f9 f10 f11 f12 they are repetition of the same sound so that I can easily play around with it very fast as i hit it very fast it gives me the kind of flavor i want then the little adjustment here so from this point so you go with this arrangement you select the individual sound we have f1 talking drum 3 we'll come to our search button here maybe after putting it on your this on your system come to talking drum 3 put your talking drum here on your search this is talking drum 3 come in This is the blank. This is the blank. We have talking drum, talking drum three. I drag it and drop. I go to the next one. Talking drum four. Get talking drum four. I drag and drop. Talking drum four. I go to the next one. Talking drum five. So we keep dragging them one after the other continuously you get to the last one here you can see the talking drum three which is here is being repeated here again you can see it just as i showed you four is being repeated look at it in the reverse order look at it so this line is telling you how the four i choose the individual four keys to separate the sounds to make it easy for me to arrange them in the virtual dj environment so when you are done if you want to make any adjustment at this point i'm having a name for it which is new this point i'm having a name for it it's just telling me new banks so i will tell you how you can adjust it look at it new banks don't worry if your own is like that don't worry it's going to be adjusted i'm going to adjust it now 
after you are done arranging everything if you want to adjust the sound most of the time the challenge you have is the sound might not be very clear or very loud the way you want it to be so for you to have it very loud the way you want you you right click on it you come to this particular one that talks about sample sample editor you click on it when it opens you adjust this edge adjust adjust you adjust this particular line of it look at it to the exact starting point of the sound then you come here where you see gain you adjust the volume when you are done then you click save then you close for the individual sound it depends on how loud or how low it is when you are done with it if you want to change this sampler name the name of these sounds this at this point we are having it i've told you new banks new banks too go to your virtual go to your document in your system this is your document select it you are going to see a folder for the virtual dj environment that takes care of keeping all the necessary settings that you'll be using look at it here you open it once you open it you go to sampler select it what we had here was sampler that is new bank to look at it here all you need to do is come here and change the name to whatever name you want but before we change it let's open it let's be sure we place few items inside let's see if the the file is actually carrying the names of those files we place inside yes it's carrying it yes you can see it it's an xml format format used to store information just like a database for storing information so we're storing talking drum 3 talking drum 4 yes and then talking drum 5 these are the ones we have placed inside so far so we place it is correct you can now come down here and change the name let's say conga drum the moment i change it to conga drum you can see i've changed the name to conga drum that is all that is when i'm done putting everything the way i want you see for now it has not changed if i move away from it if i shift the sampler away from it you are going to see it is going to change now let's continue to move new bank one new bank two new bank video you're going to see it is going to be conga drum now you can see it is now having the name conga drum do you see it's actually having the name conga drum now as you, can, as you can see it so at this point when you are done with it everything is set then there's another easy uh, when you are done with this you will need to put sometimes when you reboot the virtual dj it might not give you the same drum part directly so sometimes for you to have an easy access to always toggle from one drum sample that you save in this in the system to another you need to come to this particular settings this particular point come here then select any key of your choice that you want to easily toggle from one sound to another in my own case i'm using shift key you can see the moment i press this shift key it gives me this is a particular sample this is it sampler underscore bank this is the command this sampler underscore bank takes care of picking a particular sampler that is a particular sample of sound that is saved on the system then this dj dungeness is the name of the sample just like that one that will change it from ordinary new this new bank to conga drum so in this case if you want to put that one you will change this particular one to conga drum so that whenever you press this shift key it automatically picks that particular sound so that it can easily play around with it so this is an argument which is the, the variable the name of the file then this particular sampler underscore bank is the name of the command that takes care of picking that particular sound expressly for you to assess then you can continue to use it you can use it to toggle from one sound to another especially for people who want to play around because the sound you use for this particular beating i'm using might not necessarily be for another sound so it can be different so just watch you can see it's particularly on this one i'm going to use that shift key the moment i shift that shift key it moves to another different sound if i use this same shift key it goes to another one you see it's moving sorry i'm not showing you the look at it this is the shift key you see it's giving me this particular drum look at it look at the name dj don genius here as i showed you if i use this particular shift key with another different one you see it's shifting to another different sound so use it to toggle from one sound to another very easy very fast for you to get the best of the drum part as you play around with it so thank you very much for being there so that is it so let's go back to our jumps and continue to enjoy ourselves the way we start from the beginning okay so
don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to drop your comment follow and continue to keep a date with me as i continue to give you the very best this dj is on